air signs. This is my second attempt to do your reading. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This reading is for all of my air signs, Aquarius, Libras, and all of my Geminis out there. Welcome back. If you are a returning viewer, if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to the channel. You are welcome to stay. Just hit that subscribe button. And the notification bell so that you are notified when I post new videos. I can't believe that the other video didn't go through. It was good. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This reading again is for my air signs for the first week of November. All of my Aquarians, Libras, and Geminis out there. What is the overall energy? For my air signs. What is the overall energy for my air signs? Spirit? Okay. So we have prosperity and money. Why is the prosperity and money for here for my air signs? Deception, confusion, loss of control. This card came out in the last reading. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. I don't know. One, two, it was three. I know it was more than two. I'm going to take them. Same same cards. Almost. We have adaptability, overcoming obstacles. That was there. There's deception. Loss of control. Prosperity wasn't there. We have um, using skills, creative power, personal efforts in a reverse. And then we have going at it alone. Listening to your inner wisdom and okay, so I'm just gonna place that right there. Kind of ran out of space, I didn't expect all that to come out. But with prosperity and money, deception, confusion, and a loss of control, I feel like some of you could be going through something financially. Thinking about prospering, thinking about money, but you may have, you may be confused about money or you lost control of your money. And I feel like you're adapting to the situation at hand, still overcoming your obstacles, but I feel like you are not using your, um, creative skills you're not putting forth effort into gaining this prosperity that's on your mind that you're thinking about you're thinking about abundance and money prosperity but could have lost some money or something Confused about money, feel like some someone is deceiving you about money, but you're overcoming. You're overcoming this and you're adapting to the situation. with using skills, creative power, and personal efforts. You're not utilizing it. I feel like some of you may need to meditate, go within, block out, 
the noise around you and sit with yourself in order to pull out that creative side. You need to um, <clears throat> pull out that creative side that's going to bring in the prosperity and the money that you are thinking about. <clears throat> What's the overall energy for my air signs, my Aquarians, Libras, and Geminis? <clears throat> Some of you feel restricted. Yep. But I feel like you're working on something. With this Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the Justice card, Libra energy, specifically. <clears throat> Why is the Justice card here for my air signs? Some of you have a decision to make. You feel blocked, like there's some type of blockage. And I feel like you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're trying to be patient. <clears throat> the Six of Cups. energy for my air sign spirit what is the energy for my air signs yep, the emperor aries energy is here could be done with it an aries why is the aries card here for my air signs the empress okay could be a marriage a long-term commitment the emperor and the empress We have the Nine of Wands. So we have Libra energy here twice. The Eight of Cups. We have two Eights here. Some of you are barking on a new beginning. The Strength card. Leo energy is here. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart. Could be moving towards um, stability within the family as well as your finances. The Eight of Wands in reverse. And we have the Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. Some of you, again, are healing, balancing things out in your life. Compromising more. All right, let's see. So with this Eight of Pentacles and this Justice card, I feel like you are working, if you are specifically a Libra, you are working, but this is for all air signs. You're working hard to balance things out in your life, to bring balance into your life financially. That's what I'm seeing. You have money on your mind. If this is pertaining to a romance, you're... You're working hard to balance out a romance. Could be with a past life partner. Someone you've known for a long time. Someone from your childhood or from your younger days. Could be a high school sweetheart. Or this person, someone. Um, this could also be you. Working hard to balance things out because of children. There could be children involved in this situation. But with the emperor and the empress here. Could be a marriage. If not, definitely a long-term commitment. But I feel like you and your partner are... Working on the home, um, bringing in balance to the children, nurturing each other, the situation. 
you both could have um, creative ideas brewing at this time. Someone could be pregnant. I feel like things get hard between you two sometimes, but you keep striving and to work on it, to move forward. You're not turning away or giving up. You're not a victim or playing a victim role. <coughs> With this Eight of Cups being here. Yeah, you have three eights. You definitely have a new beginning. I feel like you want to move towards something. Or someone wants to move towards something. But they need strength and courage to do it. So there's the waiting process taking place. Yeah, no action. The Eight of Wands in reverse. There's no action at this time. <clears throat> and that's, I think, I feel like it's, this is your energy because it says here, using skills, creative power, and personal efforts are in reverse. So I feel like you're not taking action at this time. You're waiting. Why is there six of cups here? For my air signs. So, you have the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah. Financial success and security. I feel like you're trying to balance out your finances. <laughs> For children... Again, or if there's a love situation, this could be pertaining to someone trying to balance out um, the relationship with a long-term partner or in a long-term commitment. But they could be thinking about going at it alone. Again, Hierophant Her energy is here. Taurus could be with a Taurus. Or you could be seeking advice from an authority figure about this situation. Some After some type of tower moment. The tower card at the bottom of the deck. Or some, this again could be a marriage. Why is the nine of wands here? Oh, that's too many cards. <laughs> Again, we have pages at the bottom of the deck, a page of pentacles. Something is going on with the finances. If it's not that, then it could be a relationship or something pertaining to a um someone with that you work with. Maybe a Virgo. Why is the Nine of Wands here for my air signs? Okay. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. So. Yeah. 
So I feel like with this Knight of Wands coming out now that someone is balancing out a relationship with someone that they were dealing with or they have been dealing with for a long time. Could have been years now, maybe eight years. We have um, Pentacles. We have um, maybe eight years. Um, if not eight years, doesn't have to be eight years, but balancing out something, balancing out this relationship with someone that you've been in this, in this relationship with for some years. And I feel like it's because this person was on and off, in and out. Could have been married, but they were a player or they are a player. So I feel like... Why is this um, Knight of Wands here? I feel like you turned your back on them with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, Scorpio Energy, the Death Card. Because... You are going through a transformation, or they are going through a transformation. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. See, once you start clarifying, the, the dynamic of the story changes. Why is this eight of cups here? Yeah, someone was a player. They were married. We have the emperor, the empress, and the justice card. Married to, could have been married to someone from their childhood or someone that they've known for a very long time. Could be a, children could be involved. Two children to be specific because there are two children in this card. A boy and a girl. So, someone turned their back because they were a lover and someone needed to make a decision. Gemini energy. A decision needed to be made. A cycle needed to end. So, a new cycle could can, be, could, can begin. Could be with a fixed sign. Um, a Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or a Taurus. All of those signs are here. Yeah, someone was given to more than one person with the Six of Pentacles. Someone could have the initials of J or B. Cancer Pisces energy with the high priestess. I feel like someone is using their intuition at this time. Or some or um maybe a secret was revealed that this person was juggling multiple people. So now someone's standing their ground, protecting themselves with the Seven of Wands. Why is this Seven of Wands here? Yeah, they're defending themselves and protecting themselves now. <clears throat> yeah, there was some deceit, a secret. The Moon card and the um, High Priestess card. Pisces energy, Cancer Pisces energy. Something was a secret, but it, it, I feel like something was revealed that someone was juggling multiple people. Why is the Eight of Wands here in the reverse? Okay. 
yeah things are stuck pisces energy again queen of wands because someone was being promiscuous sleeping around with multiple people spirit what is the outcome what is the outcome for my air signs caused a heartbreak what is the outcome for my air signs Chariot energy. You're moving on or they're moving on. But someone is moving on. They, the decision has to be made. That's why someone is moving on because someone couldn't make a, a decision or they need to make a decision. They were getting attention from multiple people, juggling. Yep. So it caused you to withdraw from the situation. You blocked them. You blocked them or they blocked you. I'm going to leave it at that, Air Signs. This is your reading for the first week of November. Thank you for watching. Be safe. I'm sending light, love, and healing energy to you and your family. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe if you haven't, or if you just want to be supportive, hit the notification bell. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.